Shortcuts tool icon is in with the Fusion Fill. So if you click and hold, it'll pop out, and it's the one that looks like a C with one red line. And again, you go around the nodes, left clicking and right clicking like you did before. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So you can go around like this. Now, if you look at the bottom of the screen on the prompt line, what's it actually saying? <laughs> it says enter point 11 on boundary 1. Boundary 1 is your outside boundary. That's your main shape. Okay? That's all you have to remember. Now, this tool will automatically close the first and last points. You do not have to overlap it. And it's actually better if you don't. You just simply hit enter and it will close it. So you can see it's closed. Okay? Now, any, now it says enter point one on the curve. It should say enter point one on boundary two. So anything two and above is a hole. So I'm going to put a hole in this, hit close, and it'll automatically close it. And now see it says boundary three, so we're going to have another hole. Enter. Now, I don't need any more holes, so I'm going to hit enter one more time, and it's going to ask me enter angle point. So I click somewhere outside, and I can move. And if you look down here at the bottom where it says A equals, that's the angle. So now you know what stitch angle you're going to put it at, and you click, and it will generate the stitches. Now, like I said, just because it says complex fill, it does not have to be a fill. It is actually a split satin now, but I can make it a tatami by clicking here.